In this video, I want to go over a piece of software called the Variety Wallpaper Changer. And it's as the name implies. It allows you to change your wallpaper on a given interval, however the amount of time that you want to set. You can change it within every five minutes to every five hours or even longer or shorter. I will say though that if you set it for a short period of time, it's going to be running in the background quite often. So if you have an older system, it could make your system appear to slow down. And if you've got a very low memory it could be using resources that you need for other things so it may slow your system down so you might want to install it and if it's an older system and you notice the system is slow then you might want to remove it and let me show you how to install it and then I'll show you how to configure and use the program now if you found this video on YouTube I will provide a link below the video where it shows you the step-by-step -step instructions for installing uh, this particular software and again it's called the variety wallpaper changer and here's just a brief little uh, slideshow I made showing how you can change it and the time doesn't change hardly any because I manually went through and changed it because I didn't want to wait every five minutes or every so often for it to change so you can notice the clock doesn't change much well, it changed a minute, a minute uh, and I screen captured them but to install it on your system you just simply open up your terminal copy and paste each line of commands. You just copy this command, paste it into your terminal, press the enter return key, enter your password, and then you really don't need the sudo apt update if you're using the newer version of Ubuntu or the Ubuntu derivatives, but if you're using an older version, you will need to go sudo apt update to update your repositories, and then you want to go to sudo apt get install the program variety and the variety slideshow. If you ever decide that you don't want it on your system, for example, if you do have an older system or a system with very little amount of memory and you notice your system slowing down, then you can go sudo app get remove variety and variety slideshow in your terminal, press the enter return key, put your pass password, and it will remove the, so uh, the software and the slideshow software and then remove the PPA because you no longer need it if you don't have the software in your system. Uh, a lot of times you'll see websites tell you to remove the program but if they haven't installed by the PPA they're not removing the PPA and that just takes a little bit longer when you update your repositories if you have a PPA but no software associated with it the first time you run it I'm using the traditional menu of Ubuntu Mate you'll find it in the accessories applications accessories and you click on variety so you go to applications accessories and you come down and click on variety for the first time that you run the program then if you have it to start up each time you'll notice that it runs in your taskbar you'll see a little icon up here in your taskbar and you can configure the icons within the preferences menus and I'll show you in a moment but if you're running the slideshow you can go to graphics and click on the variety slideshow to start the slideshow that you can create with this application as well the first time you run the program you'll see a little dialog box saying welcome to variety and it gives you a little brief description about where you'll notice the icon at in your taskbar and your icon may look different depending upon your theme that you're using and here's another important notice about the privacy notice it says some images and this is the one that I want you to focus on some images sources requires to track additional information when enabled for example terms of unsplash require us to track and report when users download and view images from unsplash now if you're concerned about being tracked I will show you how you can uncheck the unsplash the software they let you know they're transparent about when they're tracking you and when they're not so it's not something that you're putting on your system that they can monitor what you do uh, they are letting you know what is monitoring so that way you have the features of turning it off and here's when you go in the preferences under the general and I'll bring up the preferences dialog box I just want to show you these images here by default and all the images that I have I screenshot it from the default so that way if you go and make settings and change them if you ever want to go back to the default for each of the tabs you can come back to this website if you bookmark it and you can put them back to the original default now by default it does have each of these checked which means it's going to look for images in your favorites folder and, it, and it's got a favorites with a, a lowercase and then it's going to ha be fetching them from the fetch folder and then it shows you where your background folders uh, are it shows you where it gets it from images from Flickr it from NASA from Bing uh, 
and, and all these other locations. If you look here, the unsplash is the ones that it will be tracking you or they will track you because they have to report that data. Here's where you can untick or uncheck unsplash so that way you're not being tracked. Now if you're getting from Google Earth and Bing you might be or even from NASA you might be tracked as well but I seriously doubt with those big search engines that you're they're going to uh, monitor everything that's on your computer. I do only have check Bing so when you're checking each of these they're going out to all these different sources that you have checked so that means a lot of different activity going on in the background I like to limit the activity so in a moment when you see my preferences you'll only see Bing checked so each of these images here goes to each tab and I'll bring it up in a moment and show you how what changes that I've made and then what I did was I brought up the system monitor to show you that Variety will use for your memory around 111 megabytes of memory so if you have a system or an older system that has a very little little amount of memory uh, this is kind of a larger program than where you might want to manually change your wallpapers but if you can afford the memory and you've got enough hard drive space because it will keep downloading images especially if you have a lot of images to download from a variety of sources it will be downloading high graphic images which are pretty large which will take up hard drive space as well now let's actually take a look at the program itself so I go ahead and close this out and I can actually close my uh, browser out as well. Let's take a look at the the program. Now remember the first time you run it you go to accessories and then click on variety. Once you load it it will load up in the taskbar but then if you've after you reboot your system uh, in order to bring it up it, once it starts it's here you can click next to go to the next image and you can click here to go back to the previous image or keep going back to the previous image and so that way that I'll go back to the original one which was its it was at. It will show you the name of the image that your wallpaper or background is being displayed. If you want to see that wallpaper at Bing, click to view at Bing and it will open up in your default browser. It'll take a moment or two since I haven't used my Google Chrome and it will tell you a little bit of information about the wallpaper. As you can see that's the mangroves in Vietnam. It has other images that you can probably see. This was a wallpaper that was uh, a couple days ago. So that it will show you wallpapers that are coming from Bing and give you a little bit of the history behind each of those. Here you got copy to your favorites. So if you'd like to copy that image and put that in your favorites, in a few moments I'll show you where your favorites are. Uh, or you can set your favorites through the preferences. So if you'd like to copy that, if you want to delete that image, that's on your system to the trash can you can delete the image here's a lot of other things like where is it from uh, pause the current so if you want to leave that for several days this checks kind of shows you a little bit more information about your history your wallpaper selector and your recent downloads here's where you if you've created a slideshow you can say start the slideshow and see the slideshow that you created through your preferences so you have to set up what folders you'd like to have wallpapers or backgrounds to create a slideshow here's the preferences but before I go to preferences let's take a look at the about screen here's the about that shows you that it's version 8.3 it has a link to the uh, creators wall uh, or to their website and then it gives you a little information about the program itself about it being open source now let's go to our preferences when you open up the preferences dialog box you'll see several tabs across the top now these have been changed because the original was every one of them was checked. I intentionally made sure that I unchecked the unsplash since they let you know that it does monitor you know the images that you download. The only one that I have currently selected is the Bing photo of the day and actually Bing has a wallpaper changer as well that you can install and I might do that in a future video to, and then compare the two but it, this takes the wallpaper from the day. If you're like science and like astronomy, you might want to choose the astronomy picture of the day from NASA or some of these others. But for now, but to limit the amount of internet activity and things that's being downloaded, since I do have a small SSD, I only chose the Bing.
Now here, where you says copy to your favorites, you could take that image that they're using as your wallpaper and put it in your favorites. And here is where you can configure where your favorites are. So where you, when you click to copy an image to your favorites, it will put it in the config file variety and your favorites folder. You can click drop down or you can change that to where you can create what folder it, you would like to be your favorites. You can add additional links you can click on one and edit it or you can click on one and remove it or you can click on one open that folder from where the images are here's effects you could actually add effects to the wallpapers that you're changing on your system you can say to keep the original look you can make it grayscale so if you like grayscale images over rather than the color you can add a grayscale you can put a heavy blur on them a soft blur you can make your images look like oil paintings and you can pixelate or do other things with these filters. You can put quotes of the day. Like a while ago when I went to show you the image and information about it, below there were some quotes. So you can add a quote of the day across your image. And you can kind of put what color text, where you want it to be placed on your screen, the sources of your text or your quotes. You can get quotes from multiple websites. You can also uh, have it to change it every so often so you can put the amount of time that your quotes are being changed they don't have to change at the same time interval as your image does you can actually create to show a clock since I do use a conky widget up here I don't check to show a clock and you can change the appearance of the clock showing the different font size to make it larger or smaller depending upon your size of your screen and your eyesight here's when you create a slideshow you can choose to use your favorite images and that's based off of that folder that you created here for favorites uh, so if you're doing that you can say use the images in your favorites images in all enabled image sources and you can even say customize a folder you could click check that and choose what folder that you would like to use images from since I use my screenshot and have it going to pictures I don't have that one checked because I don't want all my screenshot images from my picture folder to be displayed as wallpaper and if you don't want them in a particular order you can choose to to display your slideshow in a random order by alphabetical order from A to Z reverse order by the oldest images first or the newest images first you can say uh, for your screen run on the monitor monitor all of them or you can choose which monitor and only have one monitor on this particular system so by choosing all it's only going to actually select this particular monitor window mode for the slideshow will make your images appear in full screen you won't have the black bars above or below on the images the dynamics you can choose how often the images transition uh, within your slideshow you can have a quick fade or a slow fade by using the sliders less of a zoom more of a zoom less of a pan or more of a fan, pan and you can click choose to reset the defaults within this particular uh, thing you can say start the slideshow now and it will use the images in the favorites that it's been putting them in as you can see the panning of those images now what it's doing is it's using the images taken from being over the last few days so I let it I installed this program a few days ago and I let it accumulate some images that it has accumulated over the past several days and that way you won't see from my slideshow a lot of images because it's only been installed for just a few days now if uh, you can like I said delete images or you can go to those folders and delete images from your system the fetch folder when you're saving automatic or manually it will place it in the config variety fetched folder you can change that to any folder that you want remember when a folder or a file contains a dot in front of it it's a hidden folder so if you're using your file manager to locate that you'll have to go to view hidden files before you can locate that particular folder you've got the ability to drag and drop folders and you can also do clipboard monitoring so when you copy an image to your clipboard you can actually place it into your fetch folder as well color and size it says when possible use an image and I did check this make sure it's landscape orientation even though Bing is for desktop systems I didn't want to want eventually someday change this and there'll be a wallpaper for maybe a, a tablet or a cell phone so I made sure that it's landscape which goes this way on my system so I check that particular one to make sure and if it's unchecked or checked as long as the wallpaper fits the screen it's still going to fit the background you can make uh, the color and size you can apply a dark or a light color to it and you can 
choose wallpapers that have the highest ratings and you can choose a rating if I say choose a rating I could drop down and choose one two three four and here's where you do the rating system like this particular image if I want to see a rating on it I can go to image I can go down to here to set the rating this particular habit image in the background has no rating so if I wanted to say I like this as a four I could rate this particular image and that way I could say do all images that has a rating of four or if I select that I could say do show only images that has a rating of five so that way that it will only display my favorite type of images uh, when it's possible customizing your indicator which is up here you can choose since I have a dark theme I chose the light one so it appears brighter if you're using a light theme you can say uh, dark and I'm not going to do dark on dark it's hard to see but you can change it to a number like a number one a number two a number three a number four you can even change it to use the current wallpaper so it will put the wallpaper up here now that's very that's kinda silly so I don't use that maybe for a different operating system it might look better but that one's kinda crazy or you can use a custom image which fits that so I'm going to go back to light since that way that I have a dark theme your favorite operations you can have that dependent upon what type folder and you can say login screen support so that way that you can change your login images under the customized folder as well. Now I don't change my login uh, so I don't mess with that. Tips and tricks. This has a little tips and tricks about this particular program. You can actually visit the website, send feedback, or requ if you have a bug. Here's where you submit bugs. Or if you would like to see additional features, you can go to this link and request a feature to be added to this. If you'd like to donate to the creator, you can click here and donate by PayPal or by Bitcoin by using that link. So this is just a quick rundown on how to use the variety wallpaper changer if you're using a Linux operating system. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.